Are researchers near a new treatment for type 1 diabetes? A new study from the Harvard Stem Cell Institute reports scientists were able to produce human insulin-producing beta cells similar in most ways to normally functioning beta cells. With more on what this means, we're joined by WSJ health reporter Ron Winslow. Ron, thanks so much for being with us. You've read the study. Can you sum up the findings for us? Well, <clears throat> their biggest accomplishment is that they've been able to make millions and millions of, of copies of these cells. The big issue is how do you get enough cells to transplant into patients? We've pro uh, researchers have proven that you can transplant functioning beta cells into humans and have them work, but they all come from, usually from um, cadaver donors. There's just way, nowhere near enough of them to be able to uh, treat the patients that need them. So they've accomplished this ability to produce millions of them from stem cells, and uh, and they've shown in the in their experiments that the cells that they produce can sense the amount of sugar or glucose in the body and and release the right amount of insulin. And so researchers are very very excited about this. How close are we to a new treatment for diabetes? Well, they so this is sort of a proof of concept. They've got. Uh, another year of work to sort of uh, get it into um, a, a sort of industrial shape or something, scaling up so that they can actually produce this in uh, quantities and make it and confirm that. And it'll, it'll probably be another couple of years before they would get into testing it in people in the clinic mm -hmm. that would then lead toward approval. And of course, type 1 diabetes affects an estimated 3 million Americans. What could a new treatment look like for them? Well, one of they're hoping to um, uh, have these cells and put them in a, and sort of administer them through a, a kind of device uh, that would enable them to uh, safely remain in the body and uh, do their work. So they've got to um, both perfect this process, which is a pretty complicated process. It takes at least 30 days from their initial um, uh, <coughs> treatment of these cells to get them into the quantities they need. And then they are all trying to work on different devices that might be the right way to, to uh, administer them to patients. And so what are the biggest hurdles at this point between this research becoming an actual viable treatment? Well, for type 1 diabetics, <coughs> um, their, their problem is that their disease is caused by the fact that their immune system is attacking their beta cells and killing them. So, uh, so what they need is something that prevents that autoimmune reaction or rejection of their own beta cells. They haven't figured out how to do that with these cells yet. They can get them in the body, but they still need how to figure out how to protect them. One of the ways may be this de uh, the device that they um, administer them in or put them in to the, uh, deliver them to the patient. But uh, that is sort of the big question. The ability to produce this many cells solves half the problem. Right. The other half is to try to make sure that they don't get rejected once they're there. Half the problem, but nonetheless an exciting development. For sure. Ron, thank you so much for joining us.